This video is about hereditary coagulation disorders which include hemophilia A, hemophilia B and von Willebrand disease. Hemophilia The three common hereditary disorders are hemophilia A which is due to deficiency of factor 8 then hemophilia B which is due to deficiency of factor 9 and the von Willebrand disease is due to deficiency of von Willebrand factor. Hemophilia are X-linked recessive disorders. Here the males are affected and the females are carriers. Then about mode of inheritance of Hemophilia A. We know that it is X-linked recessive disease. The genes for factor 8 are located on long arm of X chromosome. And the males with defective or mutant factor 8 gene on their X chromosome suffer from Hemophilia. Heterozygous females are carriers and do not express the full clinical disease because of the paired normal X chromosome. However, females with the two copies of defective XH chromosome may rarely suffer from hemophilia. Here the males are suffers and females are carriers. When a carrier woman with a one XH chromosome marries a man with healthy X chromosome their son will be either hemophilic or healthy boy but female child will be either carrier or healthy girl then the molecular genetics here the mutation include deletion inversion point mutation and insertions then clinical features Clinical severity depends on the level of factor 8 activity with the normal rights expressed as percentage. The main clinical presentation are the frequent and spontaneous hemorrhages into joints named as hemarthrosis, then hemorrhages into soft tissue, prolonged bleeding following trauma. Then about lab diagnosis. Here the clotting time and the activated partial thromboplastin time are increased but the bleeding time or platelet count or the prothrombin times are normal and we get fibrinogen assay normal and the factor rate assay is important for the diagnosis then the detection of carriers is by DNA markers then about complications the complications due to hemophilia it itself include deforming arthritis and contractures then anemia and the complication due to uh, therapy include viral hepatitis like hepatitis b c d also aids and the factor 8 inhibitors are also makes the further management difficult then about hemophilia b it is also christmas disease it is due to factor 9 deficiency it is x-linked recessive disorder due to mutation of factor 9 and which leads to deficiency of factor 9. The lab diagnosis. Here the clotting time is prolonged and also the activated partial thromboplastin time is increased. And the bleeding time is normal, platelet count also normal, prothrombin time is also normal as similar to hemophilia A. And the factor 9 as a, we can detect the decreased amount of factor 9 then about one willy brand factor deficiency disease this autosomal dominant disorder caused by mutation in one willy brand factor the categories it is categorized into two which include the quantitative deficiency of one willy brand factor here the decreased circulating one willy brand factor is observed Type 1 and 3 are due to qualitative deficiency of von Willebrand factor. In type 1, it is autosomal dominant and mild disorder and form about 75% of all cases. And type 3 is autosomal recessive, it is severe disorder and a least common type. Then about qualitative defect in von Willebrand factor. Here type 2 is only included, it is autosomal dominant and it account for 25% with several subtypes. 
then about clinical features it include mild bleeding spontaneous bleeding from mucous membrane like epistaxis then excessive bleeding from wound or menorrhagia then about lab diagnosis here bleeding time is prolonged clotting time is long but platelet count remains normal and in tourniquet test we get positive result and the actuator partial thromboplastin time is increased but the prothrombin time is normal and in one milligram assay we detect decrease in one milligram factor then platelet function test defective resistance induced platelet aggregation test is diagnostic for one milligram factor 